Right. Nico's run. Nico's run. We got we got pretty far. Um we got pretty far in the last in the last stream. We um we've got the hood well, we got part of the hood working, yeah? So we've got Nico Oh, I must have must be in invincibility. Let's do him properly. So we got the hood working. We've got the power up meter working. Ugh. Go on. Go. Oh, that was lucky. That was lucky. So now we need to work out the scoring mechanism. Because we've got the lives. Because I've lost two at the moment. There we go. So we got the lives, and uh, we need to work out the what we're going to do for scoring. So we need to run the original game. Let's see how what they do. Uh, Trex runner. Right. So what they? Oh, they're going up in ones. Oh, so we got 100. So it, does it beep at the 100s? Yeah. Right. So they're going up in ones. So maybe we should go up in ones as well. But before we get going, there's the the header. You know what we're gonna do at the top of the screen. Yeah. You know what are we gonna do up here? Oh, the, the speed increases at every 100. Right, okay. So, there's a, what we're going to do up here. Now, I have had a contribution from Fairlane. So, he sent me an email saying, I've done some playing what do you think so here we go guys so I'm going to show you what he's come up with so here we go so this is right header one so this is header one what do you think Right, so that's number one. Number two. So this time we've got this sort of uh, shading aspect. Hey Fairlane, I'm showing off your artwork, mate. <laughs> so this is number two. Right, so someone, uh, Saucy likes two better than one. Okay, right. Here's number three. Here's number three. And last but not least, number four. So number four is an actual outline. It's an outline, yeah? So, I think we we definitely got to use definitely got to use them. All right, okay, here we go. So we've got two, three. So Saucy likes three. Scary's got two, three, one, four. Three, not in white. Yeah. Um. Number two from Stack Bats. So, 
Are we saying that two's gonna be two's gonna be the winner? So let me load two in. So this is two. Yeah? Are we saying that this this should be the Well phase has gone for two? Right then. Two it is then. <laughs> you are out <laughs> you are outvoted. Well, it is a bit of a it is a democracy. So so I think Fairlane should be should be praised for his four contributions to the uh, to this uh, to this game. I I'm I'm going to go with the majority two. I like two. I like two. Three I liked because it was sort of going towards what was what I was talking about last week, but. That is clean and it's fun. So what we need to try and do now is try and get this, try and get this into the game. Now, this is 20 characters, yeah? This is 20 characters. So we're, what we're gonna do is we'll create a small routine to um, literally do a copy. But the thing is, um we'll 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 determine the cut we won't we won't export the color yeah we won't export the color because it's all white and we could change our mind on the colors yeah so let's get this exported out and we're using 64 characters which 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 could fit in with what i thought we could do Right. Make the letters alternate up and down like Manic Minor. Yeah. I, if we have time, then I'll think about it, yeah? Because it means having three different sets of um, characters, yeah? To do it. To, to make it do the... And then alternate, alternate the maps, yeah? Wonder if we well this is this is what I was thinking, mate. I mean we don't have to use the colour map, yeah? We don't have to colour use the colour map. We can specify the colour as and when. But um yeah, to get it moving, we'd have to have uh, let's see, have we have we got things in different see the 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 characters are not quite standard, are they? We'd have to have three sets that go up and down. We'd have to have three. So you got low, middle, top, low, middle. So it would. So that would be three 64s. That's a lot of characters just for the title. Yeah. But let's get this on. Let's get this in the game first. Let's see how it looks. And then we can decide what colours we're going to use, right? So let's get this thing exported. So we'll do this. Right. So we should have. There we go. That's it, isn't it? Nico's. No, that's me. Here we go. So we did eight. This one here. You're a bit warm, guys. Hey? Eh? A bit warm. Right, so um, let's fight. Let's um, let's have a look at the hood. I want to make sure we're not going to overrun. Aston, Aston. Ooh, we could overrun there.
we could overrun there. Let me load what's the one that we're using for the data. Um, Nico Floor 2. Okay, let's try that. Ooh, 75. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. Um, this is going to be tricky. Got to find 64 characters. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking that now. I'm just thinking that now. So where are we going? To, let's okay. Let's get to my website. So let's find out where we can put it. Because I thought of doing the hood in a different character space anyway. But um, where are we? Hardware addressing. So let's see, what are we using? We're using We are using two thousand right, okay, so we're using two thousand. So we're using 2000. Have we still got the map? No. Let's do this. There we go. Right, so if, if we've got 2000, I mean we've got the space there, but I don't think it's enough to fit those characters in. Because that is, oh no. So we'd have to go up, we'd have to come backwards, yeah? We'd have to fit it in there. So I think it's every 400, isn't it? So let's have a look. Where's the uh, address in? So we're there, so the next one would be there. Yeah, I think we can do that. But instead of putting it at 1800, we would put it at 1B, I think it is. 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. No. 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 0. Yeah. I think that's it. Two two thousand to two thousand four hundred. So add O four hundred to one eight is B, isn't it? A B, yeah. So we could put it in here. One B O O. Hopefully that. Hopefully that would be enough. Right. Um, M -M 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 -M. Maps. So we'll put the maps with everything else. We'll put the maps with everything else, so we will do title map. In fact, we'll copy it because I always get it wrong, don't I?
Right, that's the title map. Right then, so. Rasterizing, here we go. Um, right, so. Game logic. Right, so we need another raster in here. Another raster. So, let's do this. So let's let's do ten, right? So where's the setup for the character set? Which is here. So we'll rem that out because that's gonna now be irrelevant. So we're gonna put that here. That's to put it back. And we'll get rid of some no ops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that should take care of that. And then this we're gonna do here. And so, right, we need to now we need to now it's O one one X. O one one Oh no, O one one X. That's right, isn't it? We're going backwards, yeah, we're going backwards. O one one. So that sets that sets that up. We then wait until one oh six and then we'll put it back. And in fact we will do that. Oh no, we need the colour in the right place, don't we? Need the colour in the right place. Right. So, screen. Screen, screen, screen. Game screen. So that's display live. So we're going to have another one called display title. Right. Um, 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 um. Um, yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. So we're going to load um, from, 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 from here. Come away and store it in screen RAM and we'll grab, we'll grab this. So we're going to say, we're going to start off at the top row, yeah, plus 40, plus 10. So because the thing's 20 wide, and we're 40 wide, sort of, so we're going to say plus 10, yeah. Then we'll do this again, right. So this is now going to be plus 20. I've got, I've got two dogs here, just flattened out. I've got two dogs here, just flattened out. <laughs> Isn't it nice when they can just lie on each other, eh? Hey? Right, plus 20. So that one's going to be plus uh, 50, isn't it? That's the next row down. Now it's four, it was four rows, wasn't it? Uh, recent, 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 recent. That one. Yeah, it's four. Okay, so we need two more. So that's going to be plus 
40. So that's going to... Oh, what are you doing? Go away. Uh, 40 on top of that's 90. And then that's going to be 60. And then 90 plus 40 is 130. Right, so, do the same again, but this time, we'll just put white for the moment. We'll just put white for the moment. That should be it. That should be it. Right. So, um, we shouldn't need to redraw it. So, we'll do the same thing as we've done with the hood. Where we draw the hood, there we go. Where we draw the hood, we'll draw the title put RTS back have did I take it out oh so I did thank you there we go Right, let's see if we have got, ooh, now, multicolor mode, there's some multicolor mode going off there, and we're not, we're not doing anything, we're not doing anything, what have I done? Display tile, display hood. Maybe let's do that. No, let's do that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just thought, um, we have not put it, we have not put it, um, we haven't put it in the zero spot, we put it in the reverse spot, haven't we? Ooh. That is taking the hood. That's taking the hood. Okay. that let's find out if it's actually running through this lot and that's not going to work is it so it is so there okay So let's put a breakpoint there. 
get rid of that one. Right, so this should change. Store it with six, store it. So it has gone to one eight hundred. Right. But it's paused, it's gone into pause straight away. Right, okay, so we need, we need, we need, we need. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to reset. We need to reset the Spriter, don't we? Um, where is it? That. So let's reset it when it gets to that's the that's the detector line. Right, let's do that. I'm just wondering if the um, the, the detector was still right. Okay. So we've got a pr right. The the it's changing, but it's it's. It's changing, but it seems to have our graphics on it. I think, did we have this problem before? So OB is definitely our, our graphics. Oh, have I done the same thing again? I've done the same thing again, haven't I? Did I do tile map? Yes, I did do tile map, didn't I? Yeah. And that is the map. Ugh. I'm just wondering whether... Now I can't put it a thousand because that's where the Vic uses it a thousand, doesn't it? So we've got the tile character. Ooh, hang on. Is that in the really in the right place? Maybe I've got it in the wrong place. Yeah. Trust me, put it in the wrong place. Let's try it out. Right. Let's put a Right, that's starting way too late. Starting way too late.
Okay, let's not do that. Let's, um... Let's not put it at the start. Let's put it at the end then. Let's put it there. Right, so we got the right, ooh. Oh, it's changing too early, isn't it? Try 50. Let's see where that is. Ooh, that's just right. But for some reason, it's using the, the default character set. Right, I'm just going to turn the collision off. Let me just turn the collision off. In fact, Right. So that, that is using the default character set. That is using the default character set. That is not good for us. And we just got a glitch. This is just going over. Maybe we need to move it down. Let's right, let's move it down to let's move it down two rows. Give us a bit of space. <laughs> I've just realized. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Right, that could be, well, I don't know. Right, let's just knock that down. Where are we? Right, let's just knock this down by five. Hopefully that'll be outside of it clicking over. So we could get away with it there. 
But it's close. It is definitely close. Oh, I'm happy about it being there. I'm happy about it being there. So we're not bothered about, right? We're gonna we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do something about this here. Because it's sort of now encroaching. Now that may be because we've got too many characters going on. Too many. Yeah, let's take these no ops out. Got too much going on. Got too much going on. Um, let's take that out. And that. Right, let's see if we've stabilised it. Oh, it's just running over. Just running over. Right, so we've got to figure out, we've got to figure out where to put this character set. So if 08, if, if 1800's no good, But 1,000 it would be no good because that's the default, isn't it? There, that's the default. Oh, this is the... All oh, right, so that's uh, unreversed and this is reversed. All uh, right, okay. So we're talking this area. Oh, how far does the... Um, how far does the sprites go? Right. Oh, right, the sprites. Right up, right up. Oh, we couldn't have any more sprites in there if we did this. But I don't know, we could, I suppose we could. We could go to 3C. Right, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's take... Let's take that out from there. And we'll put it after the sprites. But we'll call that 3C. Alright. So, okay, so that's where the... Right, so that's where our title characters have gone. So 3C. 3C? Oh, did I shut my window down? It looks like I did. So now we've moved to this one here. So it's triple one. Triple one. Right. Game logic. Let's get back up here. It's now triple one. Same thing. We're doing the up we're doing the uppercase. Right. <laughs> now the question is do we use white do we use white hey frozen well so, do we use white for for the the characters? I mean, I've said it to white. Do we use white? I know someone was saying about changing the colour when the points go up, which is a great idea, and we will definitely definitely do something about that. Because you've got to remember, right? This is going to be black here. This is going to be black here. So all you're going to see is this. In fact, should we try? Should we try that? Try and get it to look exactly how we want it to look. Let's let's 
Let's see if we can get that working. Right, so here it's got to be black. So the question is, we can do that. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. So this is the blue to here, and then we do the other colours. Right, so this this is our detector line. So our detector line. And so the next one, here we go, orange, red, black. So we'll store that in like so. And we'll do the same. Where is it? There. Right. Fingers crossed. Oh no. Have I left some DO2Os in? Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, there's one there. Oh, there's two there. Right. So why why am I not getting black backgrounds? Oh, I'm doing light blue. Doing light blue here. Right, let's get rid of that. Yeah. Well, what do you think? What do you think? Does it work? So we'd have to, we'd have to try and fuck, we'd have to try and um, hammer out the rasters, because that's a bit wobbly the top one. So the one that goes blue first, that's the detector line here, this one. So we may have to go a row early. And then put some no ops in. Right, let's see. Oh, we need a couple more. Ooh. 
couple more, I think. Well, that's the top one stabilised. So we could we could try and stabilise this lot, I suppose. Yeah, um, I suppose, um, I suppose we could make it go up and down. By shifting the Y, yeah? Ooh, that doesn't help, does it? Well, that's the pause button. We've got to do something about the pause button, yeah? But the characters seem to be over compensating. We'll have to put the debug lines back in. Controls, isn't it? See what's going on. Uh, grab next column. Where's the controls? Where do we do the controls? Detection line. Aha, logic, check controls, here. So that's in the blue section. Hey, Nicomo. Right, we're just trying to find Right, so the that's the yellow. Oh, the yellow is just just scanning the keyboard. So if I press I, wow, that's it's having a bit of an effect, isn't it? But we're not even going. We're not even going over. I don't know why it's going over. Um. What if it's something to do with that? Uh, 
There we go, that's sorted it. That's sorted it. Right, so when we're in date when we're in pause mode, we've still got to keep the raster going because it goes black lot and we lose the raster. So that's something that we've got to put in, yeah? So I think we ought to do that next, I think. Get that nailed as well. So we'll do that next. Right, we'll get rid of the um, we'll get rid of the inks and decks. Now we've figured out what it is. So we need to do the same for paused. So where's paused? Here. So we need to do all this in paused. All right. So let's go to the top and grab what we need. So we need that and we need that. In fact, we'll just grab the lot. No, we won't. Let's do it a bit at a time. So we need that. We need that. We need that. Put that in first. Don't need any of these. We can make that six again. I can't I can't make a macro out of it because we've got code injected in the game loop. So all I'm doing is just grabbing the raster parts of it. Yeah? So this is the first this is the first raster that sets up the title character set. Then the second raster is the blue bit. Then we're gonna grab the the next raster that does the the floor, yeah? Which is gonna be here. So that's doing the detection line. Yeah, that's doing the detection line. Right, so this is the next one where we're doing the orange, and then we're doing the red, and then it's doing the 200. So we just put that in there. So this is just purely just to set it up. Right, so here we go. Right, so, pause. Ooh! So close. We're missing the black, aren't we? We're missing the black. We're missing the black. Because it's doing the red, isn't it? Yeah, it's doing the red. We're missing the black. So that's after the 200 here. There's the black. So at the 200, in fact, put that there. Right, here we go. Pause. Run. Pause. There we go. Nailed it.
Nailed it. Now, just wondering about this here. Is that going to be a problem? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit obvious, isn't it? So we might have to do this trick that we did with the um, the first raster and just add a, go up one line and uh, put a few knobs in there. But we'll that's we'll pop we'll do that with polish. We'll do that with polishing. Right. So um, scoring, scoring. Right. So we we've decided we we decided to do it. We decided to do it on every every character move, yeah? So every column move, we increase by one, yeah? That's what we decided, yeah? Right, so if we're going to... If we're going to do that the simplest way, the simplest way would be um, yeah, points is going to be the distance, yeah, the points is going to be the distance. Um, and that's how the, that's how the Dino game works. Not sure if I've got it open there. Why column not frame? Because we've got 60 frames a second, mate. That's, that's the problem. 60 frames a second. That's why. I mean, it's going to be quick if we do columns anyway. Because... Each column is going to be eight is eight frames, so you're going to get sixty divided by eight. So what's that? So that's twelve. Twelve. So for every. Um, for every second, you're going to get 12 points. But if we do frame, that's going to be 60 points every second. Really? I mean, to be honest, yeah, it's too fast. I mean, 12 points every second is too fast. Um... Oh, add one every 10 frames, yeah. I mean, I mean, we've got a frame counter anyway, so we can use that. Um, yeah. Because we, we, we count, we're using 60, we're using 64 as our frame, up, our frame counter, so it goes up to 64. So we can test for zero and say 32. So we can test for those two and then add one to the counter, which means then you're only getting two points a second or what, I mean, to be honest, one point every second. So 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, maybe two points every second then, because that might be a little bit too sluggish.
Yeah, I mean the speed increases, but our frame count's still going to be the same, yeah? How does it go on? Well, we, we'll... Okay, we'll do that. I'm not very good at it, but there we go. Alright, so here we go. So let's go, uh, okay. I can't do a stopwatch and this at the same time. Right, let's die and let's do it again. Right, you ready? Right. 1001, 1002. Oh, it is 12. It is 12. So we can do this. Every so every column move, we add a point. It is 12. So we can definitely do that. So, um Google increases speed. Yes, it does, but we can we when we increase the speed, we can that's the co the column count. That's the column move. You know, it gets more frequently. So we can the 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 points would be gathered quicker as well. Yeah. So so let's let's tr let's figure this out. Right. Um. If we're going to add one, let's create, here we go, utilities. Now I've got some storage for the score. There it is. So I've got six characters. How many characters did I put on the screen? Oh, I can't remember now. we got six. That's all right. So we can use that. So we've got six characters. So if we go into utils. So if we say add score and say add one. So if we add one. So CLC Let's put that back there. CLC LDA score plus five. I know, but the problem is the problem is Gary, if you use the binary code decimal you've got to decode it to put it on the screen. We're trying to make it as fast as possible because we're talking raster time here. So at any other time, if raster, if raster time wasn't an issue, I would use binary code decimal. But because with binary code decimal, you've got to split the byte into two nibbles, then left shift it down and all that. I don't want to do that. I just want to use, for the sake of six bytes, yeah, let's, let's do this. So ADC hash one, store it, store it in there. In fact, compare it with three A. Branch if less that carry clear to store
Yes, but you've still got to split the bike. You've still got to split the four bits. Yeah. So you've got to split the four bits. Now it's all right for the lower four. It's dead easy. But the upper four, we've got to shuffle them down, which takes which takes raster time. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to trying to get at. Yeah. Yeah, to print the digits. Yeah, so if we're good, what I'm trying to do is say these six these six characters are going to be directly represented on the screen. Yeah, directly. So we're just working out the maths here to make it to make it do it. Yeah. So adding one. If the carry is no, let's do this. If the carry is set. Um, add 10 but I still haven't stored it I need to store it How can we do right? Okay, John, think. Think. Um, Right, so that should be the same as... So that should be just rinse and repeat. That should be rinse and repeat, so we should be able to create a macro out of this. Right. Right. Um Right, that should do it. So here, m add score. Whoops.
Right. So this is this macro. So when we add one, we're going to add it to the score location. So we're going to CLC, load the score location, add one, compare it with 3A, which means it's 9 plus 1. If it's greater than or equal to, we're going to add it to the carry. So basically, we're going to reset our score location back to 0, but then we allow it to continue into the next digit, which is, add, in this particular case, add 10. If it's less than 3A, then it's going to return out. So this allows us then that it will, it will if we add 1 to, say, 99, that's going to again roll over into the 10, which then again is going to roll over. So that would become 0, then 9 plus 1 is 0, and then it would roll over into the 100. That should work. Except for that. Do you do you understand what I've just done there? Yeah? No? We'll try, we'll get it we'll uh, we'll get it figured out anyway so that's now adding to the score so we need to represent the score go away go away so now we need to represent the score on the screen so we're going to take our score values and put them on the screen so Right, where's the screen? Let's do... So it's going to be very similar to lives, yeah? But we're going to be putting the score on the screen. So, dis so display score. So, now we've got spe specific characters. So we've got specific characters. Have I got it still loaded up? No, I haven't. There we go. So that's the first one. So that's character 67 for zero. Um, char, uh, char 67 equals zero. Hey, SP. Yeah, we need a we need a best best score, but we'll we'll get to the best score. We'll just let's sort this. Let's sort the um, the uh, the scoring out. So first things first. Let's reset this score. Well, in fact, no. We will we will reset the score and then run the display. Right. So the display is oh I've just shut that down I didn't need, didn't want to um, let's load it back up again so we are talking line two and three on the hood and line two on three on the hood. Display health, display hood. So we're talking 19. So that's going to be 20 and 21. So, um, 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 um. We're only talking six.
score. Did you hear that? <laughs> his lordship snoring his heart out. Right, so we are going to, we're gonna loop through it. And then we are going to store it in No, I'm not going to loop. We're just going to do it. It would be too problematic. So we'll do the we'll do the first character. So that's the first character, yeah. Then we are going to um, let's oh tr we'll transfer it into X. Then we're going to um. Do I need to multiply it by two? Yes. Multiply it by two. Transfer it into Y. Transfer X into A. So that brings our character back. Well, I don't know. Do, do I need to? Do I need to bring it back? No, I don't. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to. Um, yeah, let's loop through it. I'll figure it out. So load load the storage. Transfer into. We don't need to transfer into it because we don't need it. Double it, transfer it into X. Then we're going to load. Um, um, HUD, isn't it? Uh, no, I just need to access the character. Character 67. Character, so that's character 67. Right. So, uh, 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 uh. so hood characters, hood character map, hood characters, there. I don't need to look at that though. No. Load. Now, um, I am completely. Should do it. Hey Saucy. So that's going to be the cat top character.
Yes, we're on scoring. Um, I'm just trying to. I'm trying to qu quickly think. I don't think we can store X comma Y, can we? No. Um. Would that work? Right, it was one over as well, wasn't it? Right, so in the logic, we need to now um, on the game initialization, we need to in, we need to initialize the score. Right, so start of game, no. Initialize the game. Initialize the game. Initialize gameplay. We're not initializing the gameplay. So we're initializing the game. Right. So that should reset the score. Initialize the gameplay. So we'll get it to. Once it's drawn the HUD, we're going to get it to display the new display the score, which will be zero. Right. Let's see if that works first. Let's see if we get zeros. Do we get zeros? Ooh. No. So we're using the wrong character. And I've just realized why we're using the wrong character. Because I'm an idiot. This is not 67. This is 67 plus 128. Because we're on the reverse screens, aren't we? There we go. There's the zeros. Right, so we just need to increase the score every time we do a column jump. So where we do the column shift, we need to add one to the score, yeah? So where's the column shift? Here. Here we go. So this is where we're going to in increase the display counter. Yeah. Uh, this is where we're going to do it. So JSR uh, utils dot add. I think I'll put it in utils. Add one. Yeah. Add one. Oh, add score. Then add one.
Right. Let's see if we get any scoring going. No. And the reason why that's not happening is we're not updating the screen. So, oh, John, you're an idiot. That is because we're not resetting and we're not resetting because we're putting the wrong number in there we go Still a little too fast. Um, how are we going to slow it down then? Um, Well, I was, I was just thinking, right, let's just, just see how quick it is. 1,001, 1,002, 1,000, yeah, it's, it's a little bit quick. I know what we can do, though. We could cheat. We could actually cheat. Um, There you go. That's going to cheat now. So we're still counting up. It's just that we're not showing 
we're not showing that digit now on the screen yeah so we've we've slowed it we've slowed it down by tenfold Oh, I was too busy watching. I need to keep his health up, don't I? So how, what do you think now? Do you think that's the right sort of count? Right, so let's right, let's just pretend that we've speeded it up, yeah? So we're on speed four. So we're we're on pretty fast speed as it is, right? So speed seven is the max. So that's speed seven, yeah? Right, so let's drop it to the normal speed, which would be speed two. So this is the normal speed, yeah? Now, if you say that the, it's too, counting too slow now. Do you think that's okay? Well, there you go. Now we've got the scoring in. Right, let's put it into let's put it into normal mode. Nice. It just means that we're not going to have many high scoring games. <laughs> Oh, that would have been horrible. Coming down on the tree, that mean that would have died. That would have died. Right. So the next thing is is the high score, yeah? So the next thing to do is the high score, which is going to be the same as the score, yeah? Right, let's do the high score now. So let's put in the code that sets the initial high score. So we'll have a, what, what do you think the initial high score should be? <laughs> the initial high score should be zero. Okay. <laughs> Ink speed what by oh, eight, each one hundred. Ooh, ooh. Um, I mean, we could do that. We could do that.
Yeah, we could do, we could link the score to the speed. I mean, that's that's that is not a that's not a problem at all. Um, the problem is the problem is it means that when you get seven hundred, you're at max speed. And remember, we've got the we've got the increasing frequency of the assets. You know, we've got the percentage that would be going up as well as the speed. Yeah, yeah. Because at the moment we our asset percentage is set to. Is set to 16, whatever that is in, 256%. Right, let's do the high. Let's do the high score. So we're going to copy this. Oh, we need to put an extra one in there, don't we? And then high score. Yeah, um, I think, I think, let's see, I think it should be a 100, yeah? I think it should be at 100. So we've got a high score, 100. So if I run this, oh, we haven't got the display in yet, have we? Let's put the display in. So its display is going to be exactly the same as the uh, score. Exactly the same. The only difference is we are looking at high score and we are looking at columns 21, 22, 23 and 24. Think of this. Yeah, table of increasing values. I think that is probably how we'd probably go um, with the um, the speeds. Yeah, that we set the speeds based on the on a count on the score count. Right. Let's. So we need to we need to put the high score log display now here. And also when we update update the score here. Right, okay, so I've just taken note of those tech values by the way. Right, let's see if our high score sets at 100, which it does. Uh, we've got no music, got no sound effects yet. And I'm rubbish at sound effects, absolutely rubbish.
God, this fly's getting on my nerves. Oops. Nico nearly ran out of health then. Yeah, we, we need, I need somebody to make some music for us. Or we take a Sid that already exists. <laughs> Get the mic plugged in and record Nico barking. <laughs> um, yeah, we need a boing for that, don't we? Boing, boing, boing. Um, What we doing? Uh, what we doing? Um, shouldn't be too hard if it if it draws it initially. Show Nico and then can update the score. What we're talking about there? What's <laughs> record the sound of yours? Yeah, I, I, we need to figure out how to do it. <laughs> Thing on a spring. Because, um, yeah. Because we are talking about the Benny Hill Sid, didn't we? Did I download that? I can't remember if we downloaded it. I can't remember what it was on. What's it on? HSBC. Oh, I'm rubbish at this. Why is it coming up with a bank? It's coming up with a bank again. Aha, here we go. in that one yeah Right, so we're talking that one. All right, let's let's see if we can get that in. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, 
There we go. So the SID's in. So we need to put this. How much is that doggy in the window? Yeah, it might be a bit copyrighted that one. How do we import a SID in? Is it binary or is it import SID? Oh, importing of a SID. Here we go. Yeah, I've got the call address. I'm just trying to see if we can import it straight in. I mean, Kick Assembler says it can do it. Importing of SID files. The script language known knows the format of SID files. That means you can import files directly, which use the format. To use the load SID function, Here we go. Here we go. Right, okay. So it says load binary, comma, and then the offset. Now the problem is, the, the problem is the offset's different, isn't it? Uh, where's Neptune Lander? Where's Neptune Lander? I did this in Neptune Lander. Du, 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 du. How many bytes did I have to bypass? Ink SID player, right, Ink SID player, where are you? Seven E, that's one hundred, isn't it? Seven E? No, surely not. One twenty six. 
Right, 126. Right, so it's a thousand, yeah? So I've loaded it into a thousand, yeah? And then we should... We need an IRQ, don't we? Which we haven't got. So let's put that in the uh, utils. So play is one thousand and three, yeah. Right, okay, and uh, logic. So we'll put this in We need to initialize um initialize gameplay. Yeah, let's do it in there. I'm sure I've got a constant for it. Oh, why keep putting that in? Q. That's not it. Well, I thought I had a constant for it, but I haven't. So we'll put one in. Right, it does mean that I'm going to have to rim that out. Oh, rats. Okay, um, I 
Right, just gonna have to put it at the end. Well, the update. We so we all oh, right. So we don't. We don't need to use the. Okay, all right. So we don't need to use that. So we'll initialize it, and then in the raster in raster loop, we can do it here, can't we? Because we don't need to. I mean, we could do it at the start here, couldn't we? Let's try that. <laughs> oh, how do we get it to repeat? Oh, it's repeating. <laughs> right that is going to get annoying very quick right so what we're going to do is we will have here um, we need to find a spring sound yeah so game tune, so we'll put that here. And that can go there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what we did with the collisions. So we're gonna say uh, define um, music on Right. Right, so that should be music on. So if we get fed up with the noise, we can do that and it should not play it. There we go. Right, so the problem is, do we know how many voices this 
this Sid, Sid tune's taken. Does it say? Oh, I had I had that. Um, There we go. Uh, number of tunes. Oi, what? John, pay attention to chat. Uh, listen. I'll run it in C sixty four debugger. Oh, what am I missed? What SP wrote? Ah, okay. Run it in C64 debugger. Okay, let's see if Gary's on the on the nail. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's using all three, isn't it? Yeah, it's using all three. Right, so it's using all three voices, so... Right, it's using all three voices, so... Um, wouldn't be able to... Uh, wouldn't be able to do any sound effects, would we? Because we've, we're using all the three voices. I have no idea what you're talking about, mate. No idea. You, Sid and me don't mix. sound off can't shut the sound off there we go um well let's have a look let's have a look at 1000 <laughs> That's just uh I don't know what that's doing, mate. Well, 
1006 looks like it's uh, oh we could run 1006 and it would wait until the end of the raster okay but yeah we'd have to we'd have to on the title screen allow the person to choose whether they want the music on or sound effects and we just have to we just have to um see Oh, I thought that was going to be a boing noise then. I thought that was going to be a boing noise. SCI to stop the music interrupt and then JSR to do the sound effect. Oh, oh right, okay. But we 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 haven't got the interrupts on, because we've turned them off. So we we could bypass the play to do the sound effect. Um, I thought there was. I'm looking in the SIDs to find if there's a Boeing. Thought that would have been it, but it's not. Boeing sound effect. No. I bet these are not sound effects. Load thing on a spring. L load thing on a spring. I don't know how to I don't know how to play subtunes. How would we play the subtune? How would you play the subtune on that? Oh, deep Sid, deep Sid, okay. And then JSR. Okay. Let's let's try it. Let's try it. Let's just have a bit of fun, right? Now, the spring up thing on a spring needs to be imported in here.
Discord. How does this How does this deep thingy work? See you Gary. Oh, Stacy, see you later mate. See again prop studio. Yeah, I noticed it was it was written in that um <laughs> so how so how do you extract that then oh dear do I have to have a I bet you have to have an account, don't you? You need the tracker. Oh, okay. Does it give you does it give you the details on the uh, doesn't tell you what run code it is does it because that's the play address and that's the initialization address but it doesn't tell you uh, I have no idea, no idea what I'm looking at, mate. This is beyond me. You see Sidwiz, yeah? That's the tick box, yeah? That's the tracker, okay? So I need to do, 
Right. So I need... You need... <sighs> oh, dear. Someone's going to have to do it for me. Right? Someone's going to have to do it for me. Someone's going to have to do it for me because this, this is be this this beyond me Ugh. Oh, I've got to compile it okay okay I'll compile it later Oh, Nicomo, thanks for the 50 bits. I didn't realise you'd give, you'd give me 50 bits. Send, send you the SID file. Faze, did you say send you the SID file? Is the send you a link to the sound effect? Uh, <laughs> I need a boing. I have. I am completely lost doing this. I will not lie. <laughs> right. If we can get a boing, then we can, you know, we can set a flag to turn off. If it's if it's a similar sort of thing as the SID tune and we have to run it, then we can at least I don't know how you would how you would detect when it stops how would you detect when it stops oh anyway right so high score <laughs> when he flies <laughs> Um, high score, right. Let's get back to the thing. High score. We got slightly sidetracked. Side so we need a routine to test the score against the high score. So let's go into utils. We'll stick it in there. <laughs> no jet engine. A jet turbine sound. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. Right. So, um, screen, we'll nick, we'll nick the code out of there. Yeah. So, um, right. What we need to do is this. So we don't need any of that. You've filled in your duties. Right. 
So we need to load the score, compare it with storage dot high score and why um right if it's equal oh don't update If it's less than, don't update. But if it's greater than, ooh, yes. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. We got a new follower. All right, here we have. Say hello. I think that's how you spell it. Senior Kai, I think it is. Say hello. Now this is not gonna work, or is it? So if it is greater than Hello. Right, is that going to work? Is that going to work? If we're comparing the score with the high score, is the score greater than the high score? Yes, it is. Then we update the high score. Um, if the score is equal, yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm just. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. That should do it. That should do it. So if we go into the logic uh, and where we update the score, where we update the score. Oh, where do we update the score? Oh, oh, John, oh, gone too far. Here we go. Invincibility. There. Right. We can do this. And then display the high score. Right. Let's see if the high score. Right, we'll turn the music off. 
and we'll see if the high score updates. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Um, I think if it's less than, we need to exit. Right, there we go. God, this is going to take a while. Let's let's speed it up. Let's uh, change the initialization logic. Hang on. Put it on four, let's make it ten. Right, ten, here we go. Nice. Now, why is that not doing that? It's because it's greater than, isn't it? It's greater than. Um, if it's greater than... If it's greater than, then we just do this internal loop. Right, so that should do it. So we store it, we increase Y, we load it, compare it, go back, store that. Right, so that should, that should do it. What's the matter? Well, that seems to be working. Oh. Forgot the feeding, didn't I? Well, that's definitely working now. I'll wait until it goes over a hundred, see if it's gonna do that as well. And then what we'll do is speed it up and see if it affects the the scoring as well. It should do. There we go. Hey, 
Proton, welcome. Oh, you've raided me. Hello, raiders. Right, that's working, so let's speed it up. Let's speed it up. Right. There we go. So that's a lot quicker when you speed. So we've doubled the speed, so it's a lot quicker now. That is definitely we don't I don't see don't see any artifacts. Hello raiders by the way. Come on, keep going. Right, that's definitely going over. Right, let's go on insane speed. No, you're not. That's that's the problem. I'm, I'm debating whether to have different leaping arcs. Because, you know, it's a long way to jump, yeah? But the problem is, if he's running faster... Oh. Yeah, the jump curve's fixed. Um, so, I don't know whether to have different jump jump curves for different speeds yeah because this is insane speed yeah oh the google one doesn't change I mean, you would die straight away, wouldn't you? Oh, I forgot to feed him. Yeah, you'd die straight away. I mean, the, the assets... I think if you go really, really fast, we'd have to reduce, down, reduce the asset d down. So the asset is currently set to 16. So if we made that, say, 4, and then do it, Which should then bring on the assets a lot less, yeah? God! <laughs> He's insanely fast. <laughs> so we'd have to have some sort of speed asset insertion uh, cross-reference or something. Say the faster you go, see the least number of assets go on the screen. Can I increase the jump speed? Um, well, the jump speed. Yeah, flies, flying, flying is better. Can I increase the jump speed? That's a good question. Let's see if we've fixed it. Uh, have we fixed the jump speed? Have a look. It's gonna be Nico, isn't it? Nico is right. Here we go. Animation of Nico. Are we jumping? Bypass to jump. Load the frame counter. Yes, we are. We are. We are fixed. The delay. The frame delay. We have fixed the frame delay. So it's eight, eight frames. So to to do that, we would we'd uh, well let's try it. 
to do that we would have to do this so let's run that out and we'll say divide by 2 minus 1 right so that should have speeded the jump up Well, it speeded his running up, didn't it? His running's a lot quicker. <laughs> didn't speed the jump up, did it? Hang on. Have I... Oh, bypass jump. That's the bypass jump. Um, bypass jump. Oh, it's here, isn't it? Ah, here we go. Right, so this is his running. <laughs> so, so I altered his running. This is the jumping. So let's say, let's take the times two out. All right, let's try that. Well, that's definitely quicker. Let's. Um, Let's go extreme. <laughs> Legs flapping. <laughs> We should leave that in. <laughs> Hang on. That's not that's affecting the animation, not the jump cycle. Oh dear. Right, okay, let me um to let's have a look um, is Nico jumping perform the animation so let's perform the animation power up uh, da, 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 da. Nico frame count that's him going backwards Nico jumping here we go what we got so that's the initialization Nico jumping here we go so where's Nico jumping coming from JSR Game logic, there it is. Right. So this is happening. Right. So this is okay, so this is testing whether he's jumping on every every animated frame. Right. So it's in there that we need to do it. So um branch of not equal to jumping, so this is it here. So we're loading the arc, we're loading the frame, Nico jump arc frame. Okay. I, I, it's, it's the arc, it's the, it's the arc, it's the jump arc. I think we've got so many frames on it. Here, yeah, Nico jump. 
number of jump frames. Yeah, well, six times eight. So we'd have to have we'd have to have different. I think we'd have to have different arcs at different speeds. Yeah, I think that's where we're going to have to. I think that's where we're going to have to do it. Yeah, we'll have to create different arcs for different speeds to make him go up and down. Because we've also got the problem is that we've got a constant here, here number of jump frames. So we'd have to change this into some sort, change this into a memory location. So for every diff every speed, we'd have a different number of jump frames to make it go up and down quicker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Yeah, we're going to have to have a cross reference of. Uh... of arcs. for the different. because when you're on speed one, Nico jumps and comes back down. comes back down too quick. It doesn't actually make doesn't actually make the the thing so if we let's put this back to 16 um, and put it on to one which is the slowest No, oh, he jumps. He, he he goes up and down, and he's too quick. You know, he's landing on top of the landing on top of the tree. Um. So I think we're going to have to make different arcs. I think we're going to have to make different arcs. It's not it's not a problem. We got plenty of memory. Um it just means we have to change the Wait. Wait. Nico. Pack it in. Right. Pack it in, mate. Come on. Ooh. Come on. Right. We're talking about you. Say hello to your adoring fans. Hey? Say hello to your adoring fans. Hey? Alright then. There you go. Hopefully it'll come off tomorrow, mate. Yeah? Hopefully it'll come off tomorrow. Yeah? I think <laughs> Bugalugs wants to. I think wants to go out. I think this is a good time to stop, right? Because if we're gonna if we're gonna change the arcs of Nico on on the different speeds, I think we'll do that first thing on Wednesday. And get go, get it doing, yeah. And then we can stop. We can hope for. Yes, I know he wants to go out. Yeah. Then hopefully we'll have some sound effects. 
if if everything works and then we'll try and imp include include that yeah I know mate I know all right guys well thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on Wednesday all right take care I know mate I know I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming I, I, I know, mate. I'm going. Come, I know. I know. I'm just saying bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.